What's even the point of trying to hide behind this crumbling facade anymore? This is hopeless. Miss? I'm hopeless. How am I being so rude to ask? What's a lady like yourself doing out here late at night? I'm just... I'm just admiring the water for you. Is that so wrong to do? Miss, I don't mean to pry, but usually when one admires the water, they tend to stay on one side of the bridge. Why should it matter to you? Can't you just leave me alone? I'm sure you have much better things to do. Miss, I'm afraid I can't do that. You see, I'm involved now. And if you go in, I'll just go in after you. I'm not looking forward to you, darling. See, the rocks won't kill you. You might just break your arms or your legs. Or worse. I've seen too many people go like this. And I don't want to see your pretty face end up like this. Who are you? You seem familiar. Like, I've seen you around before. Me? Oh, I'm just passing through this town here. You must have me mistaken for someone else. I get that a lot, though. It's the hair, isn't it? Never mind it. You're just distracting me. Just let me jump and let my soul be free from my prison already. My, my life is a living hell. Miss, I just want to help you. Look, I can tell you're having second thoughts. If you weren't, you would have already jumped before I showed up. I really am not sure this life of yours is that terrible. Honestly, I'm sure you have a story. I want to know what you want and what you don't. I highly doubt that. My life is a pathetic, tragic story. And to be honest, I guarantee you wouldn't have the time or the patience to hear it. I don't buy it. Your story seems like a very interesting one. I'd love to hear it. And I don't think you have no other options than to jump. But please, step away from the edge. I suppose I should tell you why I'm here. You pulled me to safety, and I should tell you my story. That'd be preferable. I'd love to hear your story. But it seems you just don't have anyone you wish to share it to. 